Okay, good morning. Welcome to you. Morning, number 682A. Yeah, 682A. So yesterday um, we talked about hey, oops, sorry about that. We talked about angle machines and uh, counting a little bit in base three halves. But um, yeah. I was gonna have you read Jim Prop's essay today, but uh, then I realized um, that uh, I wanted to ask you first about the title of his essay, Counting to 100 in Base 3 Halves. Hmm. And I was curious how you thought you could do that, or uh, more specifically, how you can, uh, if there's any way to write down what the value of 100 is hmm. in Base 3 Halves. So what do, you, what do you think? Well, normally in any base digits, they go like one base and they go like one and and squared and cubed and so on this way. Okay. But I'm wondering if it works like that for three halves because it would go like one three halves nine fourths and like twenty seven. Eight. Okay. So this might get really complicated with the fractions. It might. Yeah. So. How do you think we could check if it if it worked like that? Well, we could write down like a simple number in base three halves. Okay. All right, stories. All right. Okay. Well. What, what, um, all right, so write down a simple number in base three halves. Well, what if it was like two zero? All right, that's one of our numbers. What, well, do you remember what number that's that is? three. Okay. Two zero, so zero ones in two three halves, that's three. Okay. So, hmm, I suppose we could try it, try it like this. Okay. So, so, we can't have higher than two. That's our rule. Yeah. That's so we, our can't, rule. we can't have higher than. So we have to keep multiplying by three halves. So let's see, we get EB1 16 240. 3 over 32. So 243 over 32. Here, I did it on my calculator. It'll save you a little bit of time. It's about 7.59. So, we need to get to a little less than 50 with this. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, good. Uh, so the next one. So the 729. 729. Divided by 64. Divided by 64. So 11. 11. It seems like it's climbing. So. Yeah. Alright, so this is, this is actually a very interesting idea. So, then, let's see, we could... 729 times 3 is 2187. And then over 128. Yeah. So this looks like it might be like 20. Okay. Um, well, divided by, what's the bottom? 128? 128. 17. That's 17. Okay. So it's, it's getting there, but it's kind of slow. <coughs> yeah. The next one is uh, 2187 times 3. 6561. 6561 six, over... 256. 25. Uh huh. Alright, so it's, it's getting there. Yeah. Um, it's too bad we ran out of room, but that's okay. So maybe you can just put the next next digit down there. Alright. So what did we say? 65? Six, 61. Six, times 3. So 19683. 
five twelve. It's so about thirty-eight. So maybe one more and we'll do it. Okay. So well, what did we have? Nineteen six eighty three? Nineteen six eighty three. This is gonna be over one thousand. Times three. So fifty nine thousand. Fifty nine thousand. Oh four nine. Four four nine. Right about 1,024. So this is going to be above 50. Okay. Yeah. 57. Okay. But didn't we say we have to have two as the starting digit? Here? I think we did say that. So yeah. We have to use two here. Can't use this over here. Okay, so let's go to the next video and we'll start constructing the number. All right.